no better way to wake up in the morning nice and cold let's do it Good morning. We're in Lake Pell, Arizona. We're on top of a houseboat that is floating on the water. Oh, not a bad place to spend a night, except for the fact the sun wakes, sun wakes you up at about 6 a.m. We go to bed about 2 a.m. Leaves you with about four, four and a half hours of sleep. But it is the greatest place on earth. If you've never had a chance to come, definitely find a way to get out of here. I like to start the day off. Uh, waking up. Got the water behind you. Uh, come up here. Uh, uh, look at that view. I think it's time we send it to start the morning. Uh, that's the way to start the boarding, huh? Getting together, putting on my biking gear to go for a road bike. Tight, tight shorts, tight fit atop. This is a cool one from Search and State. I'm feeling like a professional Tour de France guy today. All white, all black, bright red bike. These things matter, they do. Oh, it's turbo time. Definitely looking the part. Now, if I could just act the part. Look the part, act the part, be the part. 20 day strain on the whoop. That's the goal today. It's gonna consist of about an hour bike, swimming, I'm paddleboard and swimming for like an hour, running for a half hour, wake surfing. My recovery is at a 66 today. Only slept about five hours last night, four and a half hours the night before, <clears throat> but I did take a nap yesterday. So my recovery score is right in the 60s, which not ideal, but I've had worse. So I'm just gonna see what happens. Try to hit 20, because that is a number I've never hit before. Highest I've ever hit's like 16.3. So we're gonna go see if we can hit 20. Off the boat, onto the road. Always wear your helmet, mine's in the truck, so we're going to get it. 10th stage in the Tour de France right here. <laughs> Fresh out the gate, you gotta do this beast out of Antelope Canyon. Uh, Cold legs, not warm. No. Uh, it's just like, okay, <clears throat> there we go. All right guys, so one of the cool things uh, <clears throat> with biking, the Whoop Tour de France just came out. The Cannondale EF team all had their whoops and basically uh, rode for three weeks had two days off in that three week period they averaged a 20 on their strain strain score now the thing you got to understand about strain is it gets used to your body so the more capable you become the more fit you become um, the, your body's better at recovery so in order to get a 20 it means you're pushing it for those guys to get a 20 means they're pushing it so they average that which is just insane tells you how hard they're pushing it and they're some of the best conditioned athletes in the world tour de france guys like that's not easy so we're getting a little slice of that today <laughs>
did fall down once. Luckily, we didn't get that on camera. Actually, it wasn't too bad of a fall as far as falls go. But we went about 15, 16 miles. We're gonna check it out on the Whoop. So it's about an hour, hour and 11 minutes. We did stop and get some pictures, but uh, pretty good little bike ride to start off the day. The strain is right around seven. So got a long way to go to get to 20. All right, in order to get that, uh, that 20 strain today, we're gonna jump in for a little workout here. That's it right there, get it. Tara's really good at that. So we're gonna get a little bit of workout. This is gonna be like heavyweights. Oh, perfect. Right in the middle of the workout, that code break. There is not a single How creepy is that? I'm here to begin my courtship with you, Kate. I'm here to begin my courtship with you, Kate. So we are, we're at a 12.8 for the day. It's not even noon. We gotta get the 20. So now we're gonna go functional fitness, start activity, and we're gonna get our butts kicked by these ladies. But dolphin real fast. Get, get it. Here we go now. So we did a uh, hour and 11 minutes on the bike, give or take a little bit. I don't have service, so it's not updating my strain. Right now I'm around a 13, I think. But we did 45 minutes of functional working out, which was just Tabata style stuff, muscular endurance. Still like, get a pump. Now it's time to eat. There's all sorts of goodies downstairs. We're gonna go show you what's downstairs, the goodies but we're gonna eat a healthy breakfast. That's the thing, when you work out first, it's a lot harder to reach for the crap. I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe you're, you're rewarding yourself for your hard work. For me, if I train, it's harder for me to just stuff my face all day. So we're gonna go for a little swim, paddle board, surf session. I definitely think we're gonna hit 20 today and maybe throw in a nap sometime in there. Wish you guys were here. Lake Powell's the best place in the world. Hang out with friends, hang out with families, missing Morgan like crazy. One day, uh, hopefully you guys can get out here. So no, this no, is right. what we got for breakfast. Right. Since we did our, like our hour and 45 oh. minutes of working out, we're gonna skip the muffins. Oh. And we're gonna go with some grapes. Who got it first? Who got it first? She did, I copied her. No, you gotta do the protein what else we got? oatmeal. Oh, the yeah. protein oatmeal? Those, those are the best. Protein oat, oh, look at that. I'm definitely having this. Think thin. Hey, do we condone this? Hey, 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 Jack Ace. Not everyone wants to be thin, okay? Next time, maybe think about that, okay? All right, got the morning workouts in, so we're now just up the canyon in Navajo with everyone on the boat. Everyone doesn't know what to do when the camera is on. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. All right, time to start shredding the gnar. We're gonna do a little wake surf session. Not exactly sure what that's gonna do to the whoop on our way to 20. So I'm thinking, you know, in the whoop, you can scroll and find the activity you're doing. I don't know if they have wake surfing. They probably just have surfing. So I'm gonna enter that into my phone. Just gonna hit start strain. And I'm gonna go shred. We're gonna get some sick footage here coming at you guys from a beautiful, I mean, what better place to go surfing behind a Malibu boat. People have been asking for a golf vlog. This is not gonna be it. Golf is one of those things that all, all basically of the PGA guys have started wearing a whoop. Official sponsor of the PGA. So if they're doing it, maybe it'll help out my golf game. No, but it's gonna be one of those things that based on how much you move, gonna track your strain and hopefully sets us up in that seven to eight range. Number one, 
We're on in three. It was a par five putting for birdie. Got a little bit of a, uh, oh, that looks pretty straight. Might get a little right to left break. If I make this, we're jumping into the lake naked, starting off with a birdie, you know? <laughs> you know? You gotta put it. For par. All right, ladies and gentlemen, started off the first hole with a par. I started golf during COVID. If I shoot under 90 for 18 holes, I'm happy. Par gets that done, so let's move on and keep pars alive. Par four, three, what was it? Three, three, to carry the sand trap. I have not golfed well the last three holes, so I said to hell with it. So, drove the green on a 311, 305, 311. So, just sitting there back, back on the green, way back there. Oh, I hope he wins. He's a publicist's dream. You know what else put you all crowd? A golfer with an arm going out of his ass. As you can tell from my voice, I'm not excited. I'm not that excited. Why? Because I've been playing like garbage the last three holes. Rolling up, there she is. There she is, guys. Right there. Yeah, best shot for me of the day. Gonna give me an eagle chance. Let's see if I can even get birdie. Two putt for birdie. Shouldn't be too hard. We are now on the seventh green. Mr. Stephen Cook has drove the green on a par four. Hit it about 311 to here. Had a massive, it didn't even roll out. What kind of drive doesn't roll out? Like I would have been over there if it would have rolled out. So now I'm gonna putt this for eagle. Got a little bit of a downhill lie here. It's gonna break left to right. So I'm just gonna to wanna to hit it. I'm gonna to wanna to pretty much aim at this and then let it just carry through the break. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it in the pros. Hey, kid. We're quite as fast as Wingfoot. Put it up a little bit too high, didn't give enough speed. Pretty much just crapped on my leg. Now I gotta put this in for birdie. That was a crap putt. Oh, yeah! There you go. Good shot. You guys saw it here first, folks. is officially long enough where I need a swim cap. What we're gonna be doing now, hopefully uh, to get to get our whoop strain to 20. I am the great Cornholio. I am Cornholio. I don't know why I feel like I just had to do that. Um, Paddleboard, swim. Paddleboard, swim. Probably do it for about an hour. Gotta get that strain score up. So we'll be working out for right around three hours today total, plus surfing. So, will we hit 20? It makes it harder and harder. The closer you get to 20, the harder and harder it becomes to get to 20. We're at 16.4. We gotta do it. Paddleboard, swim. Paddleboard, swim. Paddleboard, swim. Paddleboard, swim. Paddleboard, swim. Paddleboard, swim. All right, Lake Powell, 2020. Best part of 2020. I didn't get to come last year because I was doing The Biggest Loser. 
This is always such a good kind of reset button. Come out here. You don't worry about tracking macros. You, you get in so much exercise because you're on the water. This time we even added in exercises, obviously with the bike and the 45 minutes training. So all totaled up yesterday, I hit an 18 strain, which I've never hit. Most I've ever hit is a 16.3 or 16.4. So that was good. I thought I was gonna hit 20, but we just played too much on the water. And uh, was my swim was a little bit lacking. So we will try to hit a 20. That's still a goal, but 18 is very good, especially considering you don't sleep a lot out here because we sleep on top. Sun's up at 6.30, you're up. We're up until like two in the morning. So we averaged right over five hours of sleep. Five hours and 11 minutes is what we averaged. Not a whole lot considering. So the whoop kind of lets me know, you know, my how many disturbances I had when I sleep. That recovery score, 60 yesterday, the day before, 49. So it's kind of just like go, go, go. And at the end of Lake Powell, you're exhausted, you're wiped out, but you've had the time of your life. So. This time is especially nice because I feel like 2020 has just been, for everyone, it's just been an ass kicker. So it was definitely needed. And uh, honestly, if you're out there watching this and need to recharge your batteries, think about something you do. Put down your phone, get around people that you enjoy being around, and maybe take a week into yourself and just move your body, concentrate. I think too often we think about, oh, gotta go to the gym, gotta do this, gotta go to the class. Just move. Just enjoy being out in the sun and nature. Don't think I have to do something. I was really telling myself, oh, I have to hit a 20. I'm like, no, I'm gonna do everything I can. We're gonna have fun. Hit the 18 strain score today. And uh, it's gonna leave, leave something to kind of go after. Still got a goal to hit 20. It's insane that those cyclists hit 20 for pretty much three weeks in a row. Crossfitters, I, I was watching uh, some of the Crossfitters that wear their whoops. They were averaging like 15, 16, but you think in a Crossfit competition, they don't want to absolutely annihilate people. Also, strain score is all about how fit you are to start with. So, got a lot of work to go, but kind of going home feeling refreshed, rejuvenated. We got supplements launching here soon. Gonna have a lot of work to do for that. But being out here, definitely enjoyed it. So, for 2020 and for Lake Powell, see you guys next year.